Hi everyone! In this video, we will identify functions. Identify whether the relation is a function. Let's go ahead and define function. A function happens when a relation has every x value, has exactly one y value. The fast way to look through that is to see if I have any duplicate x values and if they have a different y value. Looking at each of these tables, let's start with the first one to see if this relation is a function. Looking at all the inputs or the x values, which are the inputs, I'm going to see if I have any duplicates. And here I have a duplicate right at the first. So the x value of negative 4 has the y value of 0 and the y value of 4, so it violates the definition. That means this relation is not a function. Let's look at the second table. Looking at the second table, the, y, or the x value of 4 has a y value of 5, the x value of 7 has a y value of 5, the x value of 10 has a y value of 5, and the x value of 15 has a y value of 5. Each of these x values has exactly one y value. Now some may say that the y value is duplicated. That's okay. We are only looking that each x value has one y value, and they do. The 4 has a 5, the 7 has a 5, the 10 has a 5, and the 15 has a 5. We did not duplicate any of the x values or the input values. So this is a function. Going to our third table, again, let's look at all of the x or the input values, and we have a duplicate right at the beginning of 8. The negative 4 maps to a negative 1 and the 2 to a 10, so we don't need to look at those. But we do see that the input of 8 has a y value of 5 and a y value of 5. So the x value of 8 gives us a y value of 5. Now, even though they are duplicated, it is the exact same y value, which means I've just listed the exact same ordered pair or input output twice, and that's okay. The x value of 8 gives us the y value or the output of 5. It's just written in there twice. So this is actually a function because it gives us the exact same y value. Our last one has a, an x value or the input of 3 that gives us a y value of 2. Again, we have another x value, the same x value of 3, giving us a different y value of 4. The x value of 3 giving us yet a third y value of 6. And this x value of 3 gives us a fourth y value of negative 1. This x value of 3 has four different y values, thus violating the definition that every x may only have exactly one y value, and it has four here. This means it is not a function. We've now identified each of these tables of our four relations, whether they are a function or not, and now we're all done.